Fantastic, it's good to see you. We are still solving simultaneous equations by using the elimination method. And simultaneous equations meaning you're solving two equations simultaneously, yeah, at the same time. And why do we have to do it simultaneously? Because we have two unknowns, x and y, or a and b, yeah, but two letters, two variables, and we need two equations to find out their values then. Now we cannot do that with one equation, all right? And we have several strategies to do so successfully. One of them is the elimination method. And usually students prefer the elimination method compared to the other ones. Yeah, but you really gotta make sure that you can do so properly. So we're gonna have a look at this question. And we have two equations, x plus four y equals 23. And the other equation, x plus y equals eight. And this is a present I told you before, I guarantee you're going to get a question on simultaneous equations. It's always worth a lot of points. You know, those examiners, they really are your friends. Eh? So they already basically tell you you're going to get this question. So let's make sure we can solve it. Let's put a line there. Elimination method. By either adding or subtracting these two equations, yeah, I want to eliminate, I want to get rid of one of the variables. Now, before I add or subtract, I should check, are they in the same order? Yeah? X's on top of each other, the Y's on top of each other, and the numbers on top of each other. And in this case, it's already done. That's fantastic. Do I plus or do I minus? Now, let me see. The coefficients of my X's are the same, and they're both one. So I'm going to try to eliminate the X. Okay, so if I would plus, then I'd get, if I would, yeah, so if I would add those two equations, I have x plus x, which is 2x. So I did not eliminate it, so I'm pretty confident it should be minus, subtracting. However, I still check that really calmly with my finger. x minus x, that's definitely zero. Yeah, so I've eliminated it, so I should subtract. Now, that might seem a bit silly to you if you really use your fingers like this. However, if you do so, you never make a mistake. Now, and that's not silly, yeah? Because it would be silly to make a silly mistake over here, huh? an unnecessary mistake by adding. All right, again, sorry, x minus x, it's zero. 4y minus y, yeah? check those signs. This is a positive, so 4y minus y, that is 3y equals 23 minus 8, that is 15. Now what I'd just like to say, if this would be a negative y, yeah, it's not, but let's say it is, please be careful, yeah, because then it would be 4y minus minus y, which would then be 5y. Yeah? In this case, that's not the situation, but I can imagine you'll get a question where it will say minus y here. And you have to take care, that's why I use my finger, 4y minus minus y. Anyway, now it's 4y minus y, that's 3y. 3y equals 15. That makes y the same as 5. I hope you can see that, 15 divided by 3. Yeah, I divide both sides by 3. Good. y equals 5. Am I finished already? No, I'm not finished indeed. Uh, I still have to find the value of x. Now I can choose one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. However, the second equation just appears to be to be a little bit easier. Yeah? And that's why I'm choosing the second one. So I'm just going to write it down here. x plus y um, equals 8, it says. And they say y is 5. So I'm going to put that in the equation. x plus 5 equals 8. Which number plus five equals eight? Yeah? That will be eight minus five indeed, so three. So I have answered the question, x is three and y is five, finish. Yeah, and I get a lot of points for this. And is it really difficult? No, not necessarily. If you work structured, yeah, and neatly, you write down all your workings, you can almost not go wrong, especially because you can check your answers yeah, by substituting it in the equations. Yeah? Let's have a look. X plus 4y equals 23. 
So x is 3 plus 4 times y, yeah? 4 times 5, that should equal 23. 3 plus 4 times 5 is 20. Well, I can already see uh, 3 plus 20, indeed that is 23. That's a tick. We always, when we're checking, have to do it for both of them. Uh, both equations, x plus y equals 8, x plus y equals 8, 3 plus 5, is that 8? Can somebody check that on their calculators? No, that's not necessary, yeah? it is 8, 3 plus 5. So I'm correct and I know I've got this full score and it gives me confidence for the next question I have to do on my exam. Yeah, that's why I'm checking, it makes me feel good about myself. Have a look at some more examples, because then you can do it yourself. Good luck.